Hi everyone, this is Amy and I'm I'm going to bring you a product review um, slash tutorial on one of Tim Holtz three-dimensional dies. The one I want to show today is the Starbright 3D die and this is what it looks like. It's I think it's from the summer um, 2000. 12. So it's it's relatively new. Oops. And it says alterations. This is what it looks like on the back. There's a large star and a small one. And it's funny. I've seen the finished product and I said, oh, I love those stars. But when I tried making them, I'm thinking, this is tricky. And I, whatever, I searched YouTube for videos on how to put them together and the, the only ones I saw were um, the stars already completed so I believe this is going to be the first time you're going to see an actual one being put together. It's um, You definitely got a lot of glue on your fingers. I've learned what works and what doesn't. Um, so the stars comes in two pieces and you can do it a number of ways. This is one I did with Christmas paper and it has the same on the back. Now you can do just one side and pop it up 3D and put it on the front of a card like this. Um, and I'll show you what what that would be. But I really liked the two-sided stars. This is the big one and then this is the small. So you see the difference there. And there's the back side. This one I did with two different papers. So, I experimented with the sandwich to put them through my Vagabond. So, it does recommend a crease pad, and this is what the crease pad looks like. It's a black pad. It's called Sizzix Premium Crease Pad. They're like four, four dollars. I think I got mine at scrapbook.com. This is the crease pad. It's just a flexible rubber pad and it comes with two shims um, and I found oh, this one I cut through by mistake but I found I get the best um, with my machine to use the shim um, just one thickness of the shim I put them together like that so I found that that makes the best without the shim I had a hard time um, finding the creases and with the shim it just made it so much easier to to crease the star. So I'm gonna run this through my Big Shot. The sandwich is just your base plate and then the die. Then your paper. I thought I would use, um, this is Tim Holtz Shabby. I don't forget what the, I'm gonna do um, the front and the back the same. So I've cut out my paper, and this is the what the sandwich is going to look like. I'm going to put like that, and then the crease pad. And you don't run it through twice, because I tried that um, forward and then backward on the Vagabond, because it shifted just the tiniest bit, and then the star... Um, did not, well, it, it did a second cut um, close to the first cut, so there were little slivers of paper. So the star didn't fit together properly. So I've got my sandwich. I'm going to run it through once. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my two sets. I'm going to um, find my creases. I don't think it matters which side, but I can see them better on this side, so I'm going to just use this side. There's five creases, just like a star with five points. I think I'm going to use my bone folder. So then 
right here there's five smaller pieces to fold over so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's get a little closer here. It's important to get the end of the points um, straight. You can see like right there, you gotta make sure that it is a nice sharp point like that. Okay, there you have one star folded, and I usually put it on the table and just work those creases because there's an out crease. Whoops, you're going to find out if you missed a crease. There's one crease that goes in and one that goes out. So I just kind of work it and press it with my fingers. And this is where you could use um, one star on a project. See those little those little <coughs> tabs there you could put glue on and then put it like that. So I kind of like the inside but uh, the, this side of the paper. But anyway, so that's one. I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. Maybe I will do the side that I like on the outside. I'm going to do the same with the second. So this is relatively the easy part. Okay, do I have all five? No, there we go. Okay, now for the little sections. with this one. There we go. Press those corners in. I think I'm going to um, do the little one later. And I'm going to go ahead and distress the, the uh, edges on this. I'm going to use antique linen. I like a light a light one with this pink. And I'm just going to go ahead and Is that Yeah, that's good. Just do the the raised edges. You see that? done those edges. Let me see what that looks like. Uh, I think I'll just leave it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one quickly. For um, glues, I tried a number of different things, so I quickly want to go over that with what works the best. Um, a glue gun I didn't, don't recommend because uh, it usually doesn't have a, a good seal all the way along the, the uh, edge, so I'm not going to use that. I used, uh, experimented with Zip Dry. That was not my choice. Glossy Accents was not my choice. It just didn't dry fast enough. Um, the same with the Zip Dry. And I used um, this Beacon Fabri-Tac, which was the quickest drying that I have. Um, and I wanted a clear. I didn't go for my scotch adhesive. <laughs> this one, but I didn't. I didn't go for this one. I just wanted a clear. And I don't have the Helmar. I know a lot of people um, really like that, but I may try that and get a bottle. But this is the Fabri-Tac. So I'm going to use that. <clears throat> and this is the part where you're going to get gluey fingers. So I'm going to just pick a side and start gluing. And I'm going to put it right on the edge. 
get up close here of that tab and I'm going to just put a thin coat all the way to the edges and then I'm going to find another tab on the other side and just press these together. And sometimes it's necessary just to squeeze your your star flat so that they get lined up. And just hold those for a minute. Now I'm going to go to the next one, puffing out the star on it, making sure it's still holding its shape, and I'm going to do it on the next. And I'm going to squeeze the star flat once again. And this is where you have to be a little patient, because if you um, don't let it set long enough, you're going to lose that contact that you need, especially when you're pop popping that star out again. i got some glue on it. Okay, now I'm going to pop it out. Now if I it's hard to get in there to pop it out. I've got my, um, just any long poker. I'm using my file. Oh, there it goes. I didn't need it. Okay, and I'm just going <clears throat> right around in the circle. I'm not going on opposite sides. Just going from one to the other. So, this is what everybody is probably doing, and they're not showing it in their videos. I do want to do um, a couple more of the Tim Holtz dies on, on my next video. So you just kind of work with it. That one came unsealed a little bit. Pop that die out. Whoops. That one part of the star is not popping out. There we go. Okay. I find that a little tool like this is is really a good uh, good thing to have when you're doing this star. Okay, this is the fourth one. That doesn't help. I get impatient with glow. One of those can't wait types of people. It's a really bad habit. Just let it dry. Okay, now I'm going to need to pop that thing in there. Hopefully I can do it. I'm going to have to go from the opposite side. You see how it needs to be popped out there? Let's see. There we go. Okay, so there is my star. Oh, I do like that side. So, um, the small one is the exact same. It's just, you know, probably get a little bit more glue on your fingers. Um, now I'm going to take my, I have a hole puncher that has a very little hole and I'm going to put push one of my ends flat and punch a hole. Make sure it's centered. And then I'm going to thread some twine. This is a, a um, what do you call it? A tapestry needle? I got a set of all these different kind of needles and it came in there and it it takes the twine through that hole. So I'm just going to feed that through. And 
and pop out that star again. There we go. And there's our star. I think what I want to do really quickly is put a little glitter on those edges. Um, or do I want a pink? Let's try this pink. This is called, this is from Martha Store. This is a small one. This is called Tourmaline. It's a pretty bright pink. So I'm going to get my, my tray. So, I mean, these could be great for Valentine's. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I need a little brush here. So just an idea. I'm not going to do the other side. And there's my star. So I hope you like this tutorial. I really love this die. It took, like I said, this is my one, two, three, four, five, my probably my sixth, sixth star that I've done and probably my best one. Um, so I think I've found out my, my way to do it. Okay, hope you enjoyed, guys, and hope you learned something. Um, great little die to have. Uh, I could see Fourth of July banners. Great for Christmas. Great as gift uh, tags. Um, even, you know, just any type of decoration like that. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.